What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video bring a little light to your day today, ladies and gentlemen. We finna check out NBA legend explains why Larry Bird was better than everybody. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. Make sure y'all smack the subscribe and hit that like button. Let's go. And he would just face the crap out of God. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fan, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, I want to take a look at more NBA legends giving their opinion why Larry Bird, Larry Legend, was so damn dangerous. But before we dive into today's episode, let's take a quick look at the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare has thousands of online classes. And also, the original in video link will be in the description. I'm sure I'm showing some love. You can love. find the subject you're interested in unlock more creativity get inspired to put your new skills to work in an impactful way my guy on skillshare is marquez brownlee and i was truly blown away by his class on achieving youtube success and yes i can't complain about the size of my channel but i'm always looking for ways to improve myself and get better a really Same. cool feature is that viewers can leave little notes on different parts of the video to help you to retain key pieces of information i can certainly use context of the stats I quote and I always try to keep my tone on a personal level. Now more and more people are creating their own careers and Skillshare is the perfect way to start yours. The first 1000 people to click on the link in the description box or use my promo code basketball time machine will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So honestly, you got nothing to lose. So what are you waiting for? Start your creative journey with Skillshare today. Let's get into it. I already know this gonna be good. Good editing. All right, how do we start? I would say let's take a look at what some of the greatest legends of all time have to say about Larry Legend. I don't know if there were, if I could ever tell you a memory. I'll just tell you that Larry was a phenomenal basketball player. The guy had unbelievable physical and mental toughness which set him apart Ooh, that, 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 that guy uh, just would play through pain nothing bothered him unbelievable competitor great hands great vision great feel for the game and just you know could go out every single night and just play at an unbelievably high level. Didn't have to shoot the ball really well to have a good game because he did so many different things. Or you said that not See that right there. Like, he didn't have to shoot the ball. You know, he was a team player. You know, that that's why I, I, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot, man. A team player. And the fact that, you know, he showed even during his injuries, he would still go back out there and play and give us all this, his... That lets you know how much he loves the game. He's not there just, you know, for the bag. You know, he's he's putting his body, you know, through all this just to make sure his team win. You know, only when he talks shit to you, but he would tell you what he's gonna do to you on the court. He's like, "I'm gonna shoot this from here." Boom. Oh, now I'm gonna get. Oh, uh, I'm gonna bust your ass here. Oh, uh. Larry Bird of all people, you would think, but he, nah, he was he was the truth. He was. Let, let me tell you something. People always talk about great basketball players. And they don't never mention him to be up in that round when they made the Magics, the Jordans, the Kobe's and stuff like that. But Larry Bird was cold. Mm -hmm. I don't think nobody Sheesh. ever could get out with him. You ask Magic. That's why Magic had had a, a run and he was mad when he had to retire in 92 because of what he was going to be missing with Larry Bird. Now the next story that we're going to take crazy. a look at is actually pretty funny and it is by Sir Charles Barkley. Let's have a look. The bird didn't talk trash to you. And it's like I've heard of Larry Bird before I watched these reaction videos, but I, I never really watched him actually play until I did those reaction videos. Oh my God. Bird talked trash to everybody. <laughs> 
But didn't he did, did he get to a point where he I, had I, respect I, I, for I, you? I always tell this people this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy I, you put I, on I, him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. broke into the league. I love that also. He just like, man, put me up with the best of the best. Don't try to categorize me, bro. Like, I want to go up against Jordan. I want to go up against all the great shit. You know? Like, I love that. In a year, yeah, had a strong uh, first year. So I knew that I was teaming up with someone that was franchise changing type talent. You know, this guy, I think he was born to pay, play basketball. Seeing him come in and, and making the adjustment early, taking a team that had won 20 games the year before. And you know, the next year, I mean, you know, they're 40 plus, and the next year they're 60, 60 plus. When Burr was at That's Indiana wild. State, and the first time we really got a chance to see him play on television, uh, Indiana State played Bradley. And then, you know, fast forward, then they played DePaul, and Mark Aguirre, Terry Cummins, Teddy Grubbs on that team. And Larry Bird just, you know, he does his thing. And then, of course, they went on and they, they played Magic at Michigan State. But Burr was a, you know, again, you know, one of the, the greatest shooters, champions, uh, competitors to ever play in our game. You now join Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain as the only players in the 40-year history of the NBA to win the league's MVP award three years in a row. I'm really proud to, to receive this award for the third time, but I really don't feel that my career is over. I think I can win it some more. Nobody, nobody worked as hard as Larry. I love how highly they speak of you know the you know someone as oh Larry Bird you know I, I I love when you know um players aren't afraid to say you know this player was better than me uh you know this player you know was was really the greatest you know or you know it don't matter which player they're talking about I love when they're able to you know you know sit back and just be like okay there are people that are better than me you <laughs> He was the first guy there. He was the last guy to leave. He wore that body out with the jumpers and the running and the movement and the, and the concentration and the focus and the discipline and the sacrifice. He had it all. He wanted the light on him. He wanted the focus and he wanted that ball. And if it ever got to the point Jeez. where Casey Jones, a coach who we just loved and would do anything for, if Casey would ever call somebody else's play, Larry would just say, no, 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 I'm, I'm shooting this ball, and, and he would. Two seconds on the shot clock, Bird wants a three. Good old Larry. Uh, one I really hated uh, to guard uh, was uh, Larry Bird. Hmm. Uh, he was not a nice guy. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, there was one game in, in Cleveland where he was having a pretty rough first half, and in the old days in Cleveland, you walked off the court at, uh, the same way at halftime, and Jeez. I kind of puffed up on him and walked beside him and was like, yeah, you're one for 10. I was like, that's defense, you know, and um, he just kind of looked at me and said, there's two halves. <laughs> and he came back out and hit about 10 in a row on me, and the last one was left-handed, and he asked me if my mother was watching. Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, he wanted to embarrass me, so... <laughs> This guy, <laughs> this guy, bro. Imagine you start talking crap. Larry just be like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> There's two halves. Came back out there and embarrassed that man. And then said, "I hope your mama watching." When well, he didn't say exactly that, but still, <laughs> that's crazy. Is Larry Bird satisfied now at this point in his career? As of right now, I am. I know I got a lot of work to do this summer, but uh, one thing we did this year is play hard. I get a charge when I'm telling someone on the opposing team that I'm going to hit the last second shot and then do it. That's what it's all about. Larry's open. One, three. Yeah! I remember the Portland game. It was, I think it was Super Bowl Sunday. We are playing the Portland Trailblazers. He had like 52 points or something like that. We were down three. And he's a remarkable Crazy three-point shot. He was leaning, and he. And I was like, "There's no way he's gonna hit a shot." Like 
DJ again to make the inbounds pass. The double team in Bird. Larry, fake, fall away. This guy. This guy, man. Fall in his street corner. Like, this guy's amazing. One thing I do remember now, this is practice, is I'm making a backdoor cut. And Larry actually spun the ball. Like, I had never dreamed of spinning the ball. He backspun the ball, bounced out in front of me. I about pulled the hamstrings. I thought the damn ball was going out of bounds. It popped back up and it hit me in my hands. He just said, you get open, I'll hit you. And I went like, ooh, okay then. I was like, and that I do remember because I remember thinking, I'm going to try that spin pass. I tried it once and said, I'm not doing that ever again. Like, I threw it out of bounds. I'm off of the ball. Back to Larry Bird to McHale. What a pass. That's such a smooth assist right there. It's blocked. And Seasting hit it off of a Detroit player. No, no, it is. Here's a disparity in the call. They're going to give the ball to Detroit. And now there's a steal by Burr. Underneath the DJ. That's a crazy big we're steal. Hartford. And um, we we up one, and we come out of the huddle, and and Bird looks at me, and, and Kent Benson is guarding Bird. And Bird looks at me, and he goes, he's got no shot. And he says it right to, to, to Benson as he was standing there, right? And sure enough, he gets it in on the left side of the court, takes it down to the baseline, all right, here's Dennis. Gets it in the bird. Larry, a runner. Got it! Oh. I keep saying it every single time. Is that about him? The fact that he knows just how good he is, and he knows when he's better than another player, and that's just not a match for his, you know, capabilities. It's just like, bro, he'll look at him and be like, bro, uh, <laughs> you might want to uh, switch, switch somebody else up, you know, and guard me, you know? to down they win by one he walks off he goes i told you you can't put him on me he said, you better get somebody else who can guard me you know larry bird really is my guy next to michael jordan he's my favorite player of all time and the older i get the more appreciative i get uh, of his game i mean this guy was a three-time consecutive mvp which is unheard of and being so damn good without having the athleticism is just mind-boggling and for all of you who didn't watch Larry Bird when he was playing back in the days it's really really great to go on YouTube and check out some of his yeah. documentaries to see that's me that's literally me right now like and I'm gonna do that with you know other uh NBA legends also uh but right now I just kind of want to you know check out more Larry Bird content but we're gonna move you know I want to check out Magic I want to check out, you know, Pippin, you know, and all the other legends, you know. Stay tuned for those videos. See where the guy's actually coming from and his work ethic and everything. So I can really recommend to you guys, if you got some spare time, check out some documentaries about Larry Bird. So that was it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like. And even more important, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me to grow the show. I got anyway, you. Anyway, see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. Yo, salute to this guy, man. Y'all yeah, make sure I go show him some love right now. Original video link will be in the description. Hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video. Until next time, deuces.